interested on converting an HTML file to HubSpot template, then I believe that this tutorial will be perfect for you. So we will cover the step-by-step -step process and how you can do it into your local um, development. So we will use a Visual Studio Code. We will also um, kind of familiarize the CLI of HubSpot in order to um, migrate our files and update that into our HubSpot portal. So in this tutorial, I'm going to grab a template from Invato. It's an HTML version and then we will um, move, put that into a Visual Studio Code and convert it into a HubSpot template. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Without further ado, one, two, a good um, template in Envato that I can just pull out and convert it into HubSpot, you know, HubSpot template. So let's say, let's type it, I think, I just forgot the name of the keyword, but, but I think it is Coach Template Website. Let me try that and click the template. Yeah, so this one, this is the, like, the HTML file that I like that, um, probably I can use for a landing page because my boss want me to create a uh, like a, a book page for her um, for the like if they, if they want them to to so a book page for her so I want to grab this options over here this one is for good this one as well so I just need to change the branding after and I can also probably get this one so I will not use all of the like all of the sections in here but i'm going to pull some of the elements and convert it into hubspot so anyway i already um set up the process like installing the cli and um uploading my boilerplate in hubspot now i'm gonna um i'm gonna fetch the file or i need to get all of the files from the HubSpot portal like this one and this files going to my local computer because aside from the development I also need to clean all of these files in here that are not necessary so that's really the goal so yeah so I I just followed my video because I for, as I said I forgot the, the process so if you are um, still new to HubSpot local development you can check my part one series Anyway, so let's jump into my Visual Studio Code and I'm going to fetch all of my files from the HubSpot Designer Portal going to my local computer. So the syntax for that would be this one, npx hs fetch, um, quotation hyphen, longer because there's so much, I mean, there's a lot of files in here that are not necessary and it needs a lot of cleaning, I believe. So yeah, so these are... Uh, yeah, like these are the files that um, that um, it they are pulling right now. So once I already fetch everything, I'm gonna start adding those HTML file that I um, downloaded on Envato. So this is the file that I want. I already download that. I already put that on my um, on my desktop. I believe this is the template for that. I will probably use this index.html in here. And as I said with you guys, I will not um I will not use all of the elements, but I'm gonna use some of those. Now after you have done that, I move all the CSS file and the uh, JS file from this template from Envato. So you can see we have the CSS file folder, the font, the images is not necessary. We can delete that, but I just, um, I just keep it, uh, move on the Visual Studio Code. So there is a placeholder on, on our template for the JS. It, it, it is mandatory. So these three folders are mandatory. The PHP is not needed. So I move all the files, the CSS, the font, and the JS file, and also the, uh, the images folder under the templates folder. So before, there is some folders um, 
on top of the templates like it is level on the templates like inside of it like there is a css and then the fonts but for some reason if i um put that on on top of the templates folder i just can't use the this folder on other like in this other folders in here because this part in here seems to be um localized for some reason so I move all the CSS, the font, the images, the JS, even the layouts and the modules. In the modules is default. It, it, it is installed by default in here under the Hollywood branded folder. But I just move it in the template folder so I can use it um, externally or outside the Hollywood branded folder. So that's how, what I did there so temporarily i created a a drop down file in hubspot so i can generate a um, short code for the required js and the required css however you can also use this syntax in here so i believe like this include attached with css and these files these ids are just like if i go in into the html file in here and use this one like i can just target automatically the you know the file name of that but i'll just give you a heads up in case um like the, the hacks as well in case you cannot familiar with the with the short code you can temporarily generate a drop drag and drop file there and then um just search all the style that css that is tied up on that um design so for example it is let's jump it in here so this is the um the style that css then i will also add the other files that uh, other js files that needs in order to to um completely style the template from in battle that we grab so i will pause this for a while i'm going to grab everything in there and then i will convert this after into um, HTML file. All right. So once I've already tied up all the JS file and the CSS file into the about as, and then I also tied up modules in here that I can. Um, so I have a heads up with the short code. Is I, I really cannot familiarize on on the short code. Um, it's been a while since I've I've used HubSpot development. I was more focused on the WordPress or, um last time. So. Yeah, anyway, so I'll show you how that works now. So after that, you can then click the reveal finder. And this one, you need to remove this after. And also, I need some cleaning. I actually need to clean all of these folders in here. But yeah, before that, I just need to, to um, make the landing page into real. So, so we have that already. Okay, I already convert that into HTML. And as you can see here, it is generating a a short code for the h for the css uh, this one for is, is for the css and i can even just remove this one this default thing in here because we don't need that but this is the js file and these are the css file css file and this one if you are actually you can even just remove this if you want to guys you but anyway, this is something that I need and also um, this one as well, this module blocks, blah, blah, blah. But I'll take note on that. I'll put it on my blog version and some of the classes in here are not really necessary and we can definitely remove that after. So, okay, so I'm going to copy that and I will dive in to the, so I will remove that after. So let's remove that now. And then let's go into the um, our Visual Studio Code, and let's go back to the um, the template that we create. It's called um, System About That One. So we have that. I'm gonna remove this. That I'm gonna put the the. The HTML code that we create and we will just clear this because I would need to watch the file so let's dive into npx hs watch and then okay so we're watching the file so we're uploading that 
and then actually I just forgot to name the template. I forgot the name, but let's just pull something later. So we have that. And then if I refresh this page in here, and you go into our um, local area and go into the um, system about, you'll see that this one is something that we create. Now I'm going to remove some of the elements in here that are not necessary. So I will remove this file. So this one, I'm going to remove everything, like most of this. <laughs> I'm going to remove most of this. This is not really necessary. So let's just keep the about. Okay, and I will remove this one as well. This, this is only needed, the footer. Um, you should have a footer includes. Otherwise, your um, your your template will not work. Now I will dive in back to my um, Envato code, and I'm gonna grab this part in here because this one is the important part, and I will replace this body sections in here with this one, and put something body. And another part here. Let's add a div and another div. Uh, no, just one div. So we have that. It's saved. Put it here. Refreshed. So it's ready. We already changed some of those. Um, others are not really important. Yeah, we already removed the, the unimportant part of our. Um, template. Now I'm going to dive into the landing page. Actually, let me remove this one. This is not needed. Let's delete. Okay, now I will then go to the marketing and then landing pages and we will create the landing page now. So click the create landing page and I let me call that one. Um, go into the all of the um, all of the pages and then let's look for the um, folder called Hollywood Branded. This is the folder that we created earlier. So you click that and you will see that this is the about 2 to um, 221 that we just come up with and let's form that. I'm going to create another form that about Stacy. So as you can see in here, um, all of the like the templates, the initial templates that we created is already um, reflecting on this. Um, just call this one. Yeah, so it's already reflecting, and then you just need to come up with um, the Hubble part in order to make your template dynamic and we will not cover this one on the on this um feed in this blog and if you want to fix this one i think um in battle part doesn't they did not put any um margin thing so let's try to target those i think this one i think we should add a margin of zero auto see yeah so that should fix the problem now I'm gonna jump into the design of manager tools and look for template CSS I forgot what's the name I uh, no, this is Hollywood branded folder let's jump into the Hollywood branded folder why am I going here I should go to the visual studio code it's more easy it's easier so Hollywood branded and then go into the CSS CSS and then the style that CSS and then we will look for let's just grab that. I'm gonna look for that CSS class and I think um, this one so we will put it there. So let's do that. Remove the max width. 
So everything should be in in the middle. So refresh and voila. So I believe this one should work. Now I just need to change some of the sizes in here, like the I mean I'm, I need to change the color thing. I need to change this one, and that can be easily changed using you know they put they already put all the variables in here on the style that CSS. We just need to change that one. And what is the good the good thing of really using the Visual Studio Code is you have an ability to use a SAS because I mean you have an ability to use a SAS to expedite your process and I do have the tutorial on that if you want to check that out. Um, it's called um, getting started to Visual Studio Code and SAS so you just need to connect your SAS file and um, um, watch that SAS um, in order to generate a style CSS code. So yeah, um, I have uh, another series of this video more detailed so you can check my link below if you want to get access on that um, tutorial video and I hope you find this valuable, you got some information from me and yeah, as, as always I'm not expert but this is the process that I think um, would be, it would help me to expedite my front end development process.